Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Press Life for Options. It's me, Matt, again. It's Jeff. Subtitle guy. Fred Cobb. I need subtitles. And we got a little special guest with us today. He's uh, usually Woo! chilling with us all the damn time, but he's not with us this, this is the week. First, he's, he's in the title, he's in the title screen, but the problem is he hasn't been in a video where we've used it. But uh, he's there. Yeah, we got Jeremy over the Skype on the Vita, and it's, it's actually coming out, exciting. It's coming out pretty good. Internet, the, the power Vita. of the internet yeah, I've been brought to you. Anyway, we're here today because we want to talk about the sugar uh, cookies. The sugar cookies. Oh, sugar <laughs> cookies are so great. You mean how sugar, they hurt my teeth. You mean how sugar cookies are better? They hurt my teeth as well. It's not healthy, fold. man. You, you mean sugar cookies are better than what Microsoft fold, right? Anyway, but real talk, real talk. We're talking about that Xbox yes. 180. The Xbox 180. 80. Get it? Ooh, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, because they had the Xbox 360 and they took a step back. Get it? 180. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the video ends there. Thanks for watching. It. <laughs> sorry, I'm anyway, sorry. I'll anyway, continue. yeah, uh, Microsoft thought, hey, maybe this is a bad idea with the whole DRM and no training games and no used games. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, four months before release. Oh. I, I four months before Jeff just kind of hit, <laughs> it hurt. That's good. Four months before release, <laughs> uh, let's uh, change all that. And commands, commands yeah. It and took them just now to finally do that. It didn't take them upon when they were, you know, showing off the Xbox One for the first time. That, hey, maybe this is a bad idea. Not even before they even showed it off. When they were talking about the plans for it. Like, come on, it's so anti-consumer. Why would you? Come on. And I know this, we've been talking about in our last few videos, uh, this will probably make, this will probably make it up on YouTube before the other videos, actually. We were talking about how we, you know, everyone hates the idea of the DRM and how Microsoft's pretty much going to fail this uh, generation. And now they're like, to be truly honest, I was not expecting this. I was really not expecting No, this it. was a big surprise to everybody. Yeah, it, was a, it was a very unexpected thing. I sort of have to correct myself yesterday because I said, I think I talked about the GameStop thing and I thought GameStop took their skew out because they didn't want to sell it. But it was really just because uh, the Microsoft didn't give them enough flight units to sell. That was the problem. Really. Oh. He didn't. Did yeah, no, it, uh, I'm correct. That's why I'm correcting myself about that. So I didn't even know that. So you yeah, that's me as well. uh, that's the problem right there. It's because they don't they didn't give enough units. It's like uh, the the Wii. No, the Wii had enough. It's just it sold out. The Wii sold out way too fast. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen with the PS4. Like I just, my predictions aren't wrong. I don't care what anyone says. I don't think they're wrong anyway. It's gonna be the PlayStation 4 is your main system. It's gonna be um, PS4. The Wii is going to be your side thing, and no one's really going to care about the Xbox. It's the PS2 era all over again. So, uh, so Jeremy, since you haven't been in a few of our videos, what do you, what do you think on the whole debacle? Like, if you, if you have a little more to say about it, about the entire Xbox Xbox One situation. Yeah, about the whole 180s we like to keep calling it. Oh, where do I start? Uh, well, it was in all honesty, the way I feel, this can't save them. Maybe it'll save them a few customers, maybe a few people, but everywhere I've looked, everywhere, like, I've been on a couple message boards and, you know, checking checking out the situation, people are just still unhappy with it, they're just like, I, why, why would I go back, they, they've proven, they've proven, you know, throughout this entire thing, and over E3, they just can't be trusted, you know, and all this shit, like, why would, why would you even bother with it, so, you know, they're just not even, jump, they're not even jumping back, jumping back to, uh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, cutting in and out. Jeremy's breaking up a bit. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah. Right. You're good. Yeah, you're good now. Okay. Well, either way, I was saying, people aren't, people have decided that they're not jumping ship back, so, you know. It's, talking all it, that good it's, shit it's, before it's, the video started, Jeff, saying you're going to beat me in Marvel. What happened? You're interrupting him talking I'm about sorry, this. I'm sorry, I had to. Anyway, about this train anyway, wreck anyway. right now. Go ahead. Anyway. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, I, I, I don't know. I just, it's, it's not, it's too, it's a little too late for them to, you know, to try and turn this back. Because people have already, you know, done their pre-orders for the PlayStation 4, and like, I don't know, Microsoft just, they can't, they can't be trusted with this, and who's to say they won't, you know, if you do, if you do, you know, pre-order and buy it, who's to say they won't, you know, change their policy again? Because once you buy it, then they'll be like, hey, maybe we can, you know, slip this in, if you know what I mean. But, yeah. You know, um, I brought up my point on Facebook, all well, my thing I wrote on my personal Facebook, a lot of people... Some of the people didn't really, I guess, care to what I had to say. But uh, my one of my points was the console's launching four 
months. And they just decide to flip a switch, essentially. And be like, eh, it's off. That's like, that's like, re that's like redesign the and whole And not console. only that, they have to cut features now. Yep, they cut some fe some features that they made a big deal about that's when they're showing people off. might have been excited for. So, uh, I don't, I don't know. It just seems like they're going back on their word. I thought they would actually stick with their guns on this, even if it was tremendously a bad idea to begin with. But they can't even can do I, that. Can I make a point real quick? Just... Yeah. It, just, it just came to mind right now though. This kind of like them changing the whole always online and all that stuff. This kind of this kind of makes you look back on that whole cloud stuff they're talking about. It kind of says, you know, that was bullshit. Oh, speaking of the cloud, remember how we were talking about the last video? How the cloud that was like part of their thing. Like that's what makes the infinite possibilities of the cloud. Yeah. How they've been talking about it. Then what the fuck? Like that, right? That's what I'm saying. Like, they're, what's the point of the yeah, cloud then? It like, defeats the, all. Obviously, they they're, obviously they're just lying. Like they, they are because the PS4 is a stronger. It's it is. It's a stronger system. It's got better specs. It's got some better specs. Not everything. I think some of it's like the exact same, but mostly the Overall, PS4's got yeah. a better edge over it. And you're telling me, dead, say Dead Rising 3, like for example, oh, there's more zombies on the screen because of the cloud. Bullshit. Yeah. Overall, the PS4 is a better system. Why would I don't know why you would like go back to Xbox One at this point, especially since what it's a hundred dollars cheaper okay. and all that goodness. All this, all this, you know, it doesn't come with the stupid peripheral, the Connect. Who the hell? Honestly, who cares about the Connect? Why do that? Honestly. I have no idea. Uh, but, but yeah, that's <sighs> and sticking with the Connect still. You know, people still are really iffy. You know, and. And that would lead into a whole nother thing about the NSA, right? That would lead into the whole <laughs> NSA thing right now and the prison and shit. But that, that's a whole nother subject. Well, you know, you know what I, you know what I think about the subject. Like, oh, I, I was actually discussing it on the forum. A uh, forum? Yes, a forum. Whoa. And uh, back up. You know, we were. Well, some people were like, you know, give them slack. You know, they're doing the right thing now. And like, like and me and along with other, along with other other uh, member uh, forum members were like, like no, like this is like. Like, you can't just forgive it. Like, this is something they seriously tried to push. You remember last week how they were like, fuck you? I'm not a consumer. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying, like, this is something they seriously tried to push. And, like, yeah, they're taking it away. I mean, you, but to give them credit because they're taking it away, this is something that it never should have been in the first remember place. Remember that video? Yeah. Um, let me finish. Let me finish. Sorry. And, like, and then, and then you go back to the whole, uh, what's his face? The metric guy, whatever? I always say his name wrong. Don Matrix. Don Matrix. Don Matrix. Don Matrix. Don Matrix. Like, like what kind that's of ignorant, what kind of act, ignorant things to say is like oh don't have internet access get a 360 like like yeah dude, that's shit like when people say shit like that like you don't forget it like like I don't like I don't know some people take it as a joke I take it like as that is serious like when like you walk up to someone who you thought was your friend for the longest time and then they walk up and say I hate you and then they say all oh, this hurtful shit for you you just don't forget it because they say oh, well just kidding the next day yeah like, yeah especially when now. especially when you're the head PR guy you know like you're supposed to be a little more professional than that. And then you just, you throw that out there, that's basically a big fuck you and a big slap to the face all in one. Not to mention, you know, another Microsoft uh, employee that we're all familiar with <laughs> who was trying to uh, defend this shit, Adam Orff, you know, he pretty yeah. much lost his job over this stuff and now they're taking it back. Not Don Matrix, though. He should have been fired flat out. That guy should have been fired after that statement, but no one... I, I, I feel like most of Microsoft and their PR department should be fired. After, after all that? Yeah. No bonuses. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Zero's dead. Yeah, um, dead. So, with all that bad PR, all this stupid bullshit, it's like, why would you even... I mean, yeah, they got some nice games and all lined up, but is it really worth after all that bullshit? Because they, they, they were, like, last week, they were like, fuck you, consumer. Now they're like, oh, I, I we love the consumer. What? You, what? <laughs> what? Yeah. You I saw it on the Facebook page that they post this picture, <laughs> and they're just like... They were like, we love gamers, and I was just like, do you? Do you really? I... Look, it didn't work for Sony with the whole, you know, multimedia device at first, at launch with the PS3. And I always give, I give Sony that edge back in the day. They, they you know, Blu-ray players were mad expensive. It was a cheap Blu-ray player. It was a better solution. But that was, that was like six or seven years ago when that was a viable thing and a different economy. Nowadays, come on, what are, what are they toting? A camera no one cares about? Come on. Yeah. And a few games. Killer Instinct, I think, is one of the well, only games. Well, it can be a cable box. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck, Frank. Oh, my God. 
That's gonna cost me. It is. It is bullshit. You know. But they went back on their. They went back on everything they said, and you know now they changed their minds and blah, 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 DRM probably just so they can get pre-orders and get money again. Someone brought up. Obviously. Someone brought up a point. I was looking through the comments on IGN, and like a lot of people brought up a lot of good things, and one of them was like, um, I forgot. I lost my thought. Uh oh. Well, you, you oh, know, no. you know, you know, it's a bad business move when uh, when another company, aka Sony, goes around saying, "Oh, guess what? Our system isn't always online. Our system doesn't have a DRM, and people are cheering for it. Like this is this is something that shouldn't be, and people are cheering for these features that aren't features. Like they're just they're 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 not features, and people are like, yeah, they they don't have it. They should be the standard. It should be the standard. There you go. Thank We're you. not yeah. ready for this whole online always thing yet. We might be in, in an age where people where internet's very prevalent and a lot of people are broadband. We're but free we're everywhere. Not, we're not yeah. there yet. We're, online, we're not, like, you know, not until Iron not until Man like, levels of screens. Not until everywhere. it's like a it's a worldwide thing. Where this like, always online shit better be like better be a thing when like I need online to live. <laughs> I'm yeah. just saying. I guess you can say that. Yeah. So essentially, same, same, same. Battle Network. Yes. Kind of. Mega Man, hey, man. microwave my burrito. Hey man, in Battle Network, they were always gonna kind of sit everything. Oh <laughs> that's that's kind of like the future if you think about it. Okay. Shh. Kind of the future if you think about it. We're gonna like eventually we're getting to that point where we're gonna be connected to everything. I can access my laundry through a network. <laughs> <laughs> um, they ain't dry quite yet. All seriousness though. <laughs> Microsoft, what they're showing, everything that they're doing, that is the way things are going. But it's too soon, and they're forcing it down your throat. Like I said uh, yesterday, the day before, Sony is actually easing people into this. Like, not everyone's so, like, uh, Review Tech said, you know, not. This is a foreign concept to a lot of people that don't have, like, PC, gaming PCs, you know, that have Steam. Like, this isn't, this is, like, crazy to them. They're like, I, I do, no, I've been gaming on a console. I don't want to be always connected, or I don't want to download stuff. I want to own a physical copy. And you know, it was clear that Sony and both Nintendo, they both see how that's uh, how the market's going right now. They're not that dumb to not release physical copies. Microsoft just wants to get rid of physical copies completely. Like the thing about, um, I didn't know Killer Instinct was going to be a free download, but it's just going to be a download. There's no physical copy of a major game coming out. You know, yeah. I was yeah. I was kind of surprised about that actually. Drive kicks. Drive from what kick. I heard about, from what I heard about Killer Instinct is it being digital is that they're releasing it. I think there's the one version where it's going to be nothing but Jago, and they're going to release characters slowly. No, that's a demo, isn't it? Like you can. Is it? Yeah, it's um. I well, was I, I heard about the demo, but I heard about them saying they're releasing like in seasons, like characters. And oh, stuff. I have no uh, idea. I think I think I, I think no I don't think it's a demo. I think they're just they're giving you the Jago version for free, and if you choose. Oh, I'm sorry. And if you they said if uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're just I'm just saying you're a little loud. Yeah, yeah. That's all. I'm sorry. And they said uh, if you, you know, you get the free Jenga mode, and they said instead of having to pay full retail for the game, you can choose for what content you want to access. That's what they're saying. You know what? That doesn't sound too bad on paper, but it's like you're just gonna want the fighting game DLC. You know what DLC with say Marvel's Capcom or something? That's that's I'm not a big fan of DLC with fighting games. But th that's one thing. At least they give you, like, the, even like Cross Tekken, as bad as that was with DLC, they did give you, like, they gave you the fighting game. You don't have to worry about getting characters and stages and stuff. It just sounds like a weird idea. I want the game. I, I just want the game. Why would I want it? I can't imagine what, like, kind of online, like, disaster that would be. Like, can you access stages? That aren't that you didn't download. Like if someone plays on a stage you didn't download, can you actually access so, it? So um, <laughs> with so with Microsoft not doing this DRM stuff and no, cut, cutting features and stuff, that just like we said before, that that just shows how oh crap, for lack of a better term, that just shows to me how uh, how fucking dumb they are. Blow up Mega Man. Spineless. Uh, going back on their word. Actually, more people are pissed that they're going back on their word. <laughs> Yeah, All right. that's that's the funny thing. Thank they're not sticking with their guns, and they're getting the people are getting upset like, oh, about that as well. Oh, no, 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 that I was, was looking at. Look at that. Oh, I thought your point. No, Fred, Fred was giving me this nasty. No, I thought I didn't want me. to be talking too much. No, 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 Fred was giving me this nasty look because he was like, "I just wrecked you." Uh, but yeah, you know, that just more people are pissed that they're going back on their word than anything, you know. And yeah, why? Like, um, uh, someone, a mutual friend of ours on Facebook, uh, brought up the point. I don't know if Jeremy saw it, but he wrote how. 
why is everyone forgiving Microsoft? Just last week they were telling us they were going to screw us over, and now all of a sudden we forgive them? In the last yeah. three hours or four hours or whatever? You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. saw it. Yeah. So, like, are people serious? You're going to really forgive them? Like, I remember with the PS3, Sony wasn't even this bad about it. It's not like they were doing those underhanded tricks with the bribing, the bad PR... Yeah, sure. They I think the their, worst thing they ever they said. They had their head up their ass, but the worst thing they ever said with the PS3 thing was, uh, "PS3 too expensive for you? Get a second job." I think that's like the worst thing they ever said. Did they? <laughs> yeah, he actually said that. Uh, well, they didn't say, "Hey, buy a PS2." Right? Yeah, they didn't say that. <laughs> Even though you the PS2, the PS2 was still rele- uh, relevant for quite some time after the PS3 was released. You know, people don't bring that up, but Sony actually supports their console after the new one comes out. Microsoft and Nintendo have both been guilty of dropping the system, you know, like, completely after it was done. Like, what happened when the 360 launched? What happened to the original Xbox? My ass. Yes. Exactly. They dropped it, and then yeah. they, they made, like, all those original Xbox games, what, not, not really, well, not all of them, but a majority of them not even playable on the Xbox 360. Yeah. Man. It was, yeah, a list, I'm sorry. There was, yeah, there was a list, actually, now that I think about it. Um, but yeah, um, it is it is ridiculous, and when you bring up the, you know, what what mutual, our mutual friend number one did say <laughs> on Facebook about, uh, you know, why would you trust the, like, why would you, why would you forgive it? Like, it's true, like, I see some people that are just, that are saying things like, you know, I'm gonna buy an Xbox One now, and it's just like, why? You know, like they just—they were just about to fuck completely fuck you over. Who's this, who's not say like they won't do they won't they won't do it again? Like they'll, they probably will. Like, I, don't, I don't know why you go back to them easily. This this isn't like one of those forgive and forget situations. Like, you know, it's no, especially it's, when you're especially when you're multi uh, billion dollar company. Yeah, and, 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 they're, and they're, they have a policy that's just so anti-consumer. I'm I'm sorry, that's not forgivable. And like, Windows it, 8 is it's not. I heard bad. I've been hearing really. I don't know. What do you think of Windows 8? Because I've been hearing negative things. All I think Windows 8 is fine. The people just missed the damn start uh, taskbar. What about so DOS? They took DOS. I mean, that's kind of a basic thing, isn't it? Like you should have. I have no opinion on that. To be truly honest. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know, you kind of you look past those details when uh, they're like, hey, they aren't always online. Buy a 360 yeah. submarine. <laughs> you think they would have, you think Microsoft even would have taken notice of what happened not that long ago with what, SimCity 3 or what was it? Uh, yeah, no, the, with the DRM. Oh, yeah, the newest SimCity. But guess who that was? Yeah. EA. Yeah, exactly. Remember they and said... guess who's working with pretty much with Microsoft on this? EA. EA. And, <laughs> guess who people, and guess who people are speculating that, uh, Brought the DR thing to begin with with Microsoft. EA. See, that's a that's a that's a thing that I, that's going around a lot. Is like now people are starting to point fingers. Like I I heard different things that EA was forced by Microsoft. Now from what I'm hearing about you, like what you're saying, you know, EA brought it upon Microsoft. It's it's, a, it's pointing fingers. Child. Yeah, it's yeah. Def, it's definitely it's definitely a, a you know. You know, pointing finger thing. And, oh, he did. He told. He said. No, she said. Blah blah blah. You know, this all is, that. This is shit. like. It's just like no, no. He he was. He wanted, they wanted the DRM. I want the DRM. Microsoft bullied me. He told me <laughs> the DRM. They wanted my lunch. No, money. EA was the one. I'm telling my catty. <laughs> it, but, uh, it just amazes me. But yeah, what else can we say about it? Uh, I mean, other than that, my my thoughts are pretty much done on this subject. Uh, someone what? oh, someone listed um the exclusive titles for the PS4 and the. Xbox One on IGN, and like, oh look, they have more uh, exclusives. And you know what they they put in there? First of which is Titanfall's not an exclusive. It's on PC. It's coming to PC. I don't know why. People... They, 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 tended to, they tended to say that a lot of PC also games were exclusive for some reason. And also like that tank game. Oh yeah, World of Tanks. That's not exclusive. Um, what's what's another thing? Oh yeah, they brought up the Connect game. I'm like, are you you're bringing Connect into this? I like saw. Ha- I'm like, okay. People don't really care that much about Halo right now. It's not exactly on everyone's mind. It's a, yeah, sure. It's a seller, but it's not that big of a seller. That kind of thing. Forza, Forza will sell because it's it's a racing game. It looks pretty. You know, people probably like it. I imagine. Um, whatever. There, there was one other game I forgot. But a lot of the other games they list, I'm like, meh. And same thing with Sony though. I was like, I mean, Killzone looks alright. I'm not that crazy about it. I'm more crazy about Knack. 
That does look interesting. I need to hear that deep, deep, sexy voice. Yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame he doesn't have, you know, Tager's voice. Oh. It would, it would be so fitting. Oh. The hyper bar. Oh, not to not to stray too far from the subject at hand, but you know. Well, yeah, pretty much. I'm I'm done on the subject. Uh, what do you think, Fred? You good or? I'm good. You good. I think I I'm, think Fred I'm was good. a day one buyer of the Xbox One. I think so. Too. Stop. <laughs> come come on, man. Come on. You you know me. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta yeah. But, but yeah, no, no. I I think I I don't know. I this is this. Like I said before, X, Microsoft shot themselves in the foot. They're done, for, in my opinion. This is this is really gonna cost them. Yeah, no, it will. People think they're gonna recover. I don't. Like I said, that's my prediction. Is <clears throat> PS2 era all over again? They managed to shoot themselves in the foot with a cannon. So whatever. I I'll play yeah, Xbox really. One if Bob ties on it uh -huh. or I custom will. robo. Why would cut? Wait, hold on. Wait, <laughs> hold on. Wait, <laughs> yeah. wait. wait. Yeah. Wait, why would custom robo be? Exactly. The custom robo is a Nintendo. Drill, Nintendo. Drill I'm, doses. I'm, so, uh, drill I'm so mad right now. Drill I'm so doses. mad right now. Anyway. There, wait, there was something else I wanted to bring up about it, actually. And I completely forgot it. But anyway, that's. I think it's about time to wrap it up. I mean, we're running about. And I won. One I won that one, so. You did, but I wasn't even using my team, so. You can go butt hurt somewhere else. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. This is Matt, Jeff, Fred, and Jeremy on the on the Skype through the Vita. Ooh. 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 That was actually pretty good when we tested it. So get anyway, the Vita. You get. You should get it. I mean, like it's, it's got Skype. That's God what Xbox. Either. Xbox One is saying you could Skype while you game, and you can you can play Skype in the, in the Vita. Look, they got the Vita and the Skype. Let's do it. Anyway. I can Skype while I'm gaming on my Vita too. Look at this. I'm pressing the PlayStation button. Woo! <laughs> Woo! He's playing Peggle too. Okay. Anyway, uh, anyway, guys, thanks for listening. You know, favorite, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. You know, if you're watching us. Oh. <laughs> anyway, anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys, and uh, press like for options out.